Hey everyone, it's John from Ride Upstate, and I wanted to talk a little bit about an Uber ride that I took, not that I gave. So I like to, once or twice a year, open up the Uber app and take a short ride just to see what the process is like for the customer. That way when they ask me questions about the app, where to tip is a big one that they ask, um, or how they can change a uh, destination or add a stop, I can provide that information to them. So I took a ride. Uh, it wasn't too far. It was, um, go, took a ride home and it was, took about 10 or 12 minutes for the person to get to where I am, which is kind of normal for my market. I wasn't downtown or anything like that where people normally are. So the person pulls up. Vehicle looks nice from the outside. It's a, It was a Toyota RAV4, I think. Very nice looking from the outside. I hop in. I verify the driver's name, right? Listen, if you're a passenger, listen to the... I, I need you to listen to me on this. You must verify your driver's name. The, the driver has no idea whether or not the name that's in the app for their passenger is actually that person or if the picture is even of that person. So please, if you are a passenger, and I know not a lot of passengers watch this, if you are a passenger, verify your driver's name. That's the best thing that you can do to make sure that you are safe. Okay, we'll go, we'll, we'll leave that there. So I get in and we're driving around. And the first thing I noticed about this, the driver was friendly, very nice, Good conversation the whole time, okay? Uh, the, the first thing that I noticed was this person had all kinds of papers and stuff jammed up underneath visors in the front. And I know, it's, it's your personal vehicle. I get it. But this person had over 2,000 rides in two years. So someone who's done a lot of rides was a platinum driver, um, highly rated. So, I mean, gr great, great driver, like I said. But the one thing that I, I couldn't help but notice was that the vehicle was not as clean as I keep my vehicle. And believe me, I don't keep mine pristine. The, the seats looked like they had some dirt on them. Uh, some of the, the, the door cards had some dirt smudged on them. Now, I don't know if this driver had been out all night, and so that might be why some things were dirty. It wasn't as bad as a ride that I took last year, which was just, I mean, I thought the car was going to fall apart while we were driving, and it was just absolutely filthy. No, it wasn't last year. It was before the coof, so uh, it would have been almost almost three years ago now. Um, but yeah, I was just really surprised that the car wasn't cleaner. I still gave the driver five stars because the car wasn't filthy. It was a safe drive. The conversation was fine. Smooth driving. And I'm, I'm not going to knock someone because I didn't know for sure whether or not this person, like again, had been out all night driving. And that's why the car probably wasn't as clean as it could have been. Also, I notice these things a lot more than I think other people do. I've gotten comments about how clean my vehicle is from other passengers. The other thing I didn't do was tell the driver, oh, I'm an Uber driver too, and I make videos on YouTube. I didn't want to put any pressure on the driver to feel like they needed to perform. Because I've gotten people in my car before who say they're Uber drivers or, or Lyft drivers or whatever. And they've got all kinds of comments about how you should be driving the car. Uh, by the way, uh, retired or former taxi drivers are the worst. Okay, They will tell you, th they'll try and get you to zigzag through a town like nuts. And it'll take you five minutes longer than it would have taken you to just go the way that the navigation app was telling you. Anyway, I didn't want to put that pressure on the driver. And I told the driver as we were approaching 
and I said, hey, uh, I just want to let you know I'm, I, I'm an Uber driver too, and I, I understand th that it's, it's tough out there right now. Gave the driver a cash tip, and we're kind of kind of on on our way. I was on my way. One thing that I noticed, uh, again, uh, take note. I said that the driver was a platinum level driver. This driver took a twenty three minute pickup. Now, I know that the market that I'm in, you're going to have longer pickups than average. 10 to 15 minutes, but 23 minutes is from my house to go 23 minutes. I can go to my dentist in 23 minutes. Okay. And they're in the next town South. I can go up North to the next town in 23 minutes. There's a lot of places I could go in 23 minutes around here. And so that's probably like a 12 15 mile pickup at least and i i was really surprised that this driver took that now maybe the driver had destination mode set and the driver was trying to get someplace and so that's why they why they took it but again if you're on destination mode you're not getting paid for those miles to go pick up that driver for you don't get that long pickup fee so I guess this is kind of a, a, a double thing. I wanted to share my experience. The app experience was fine. It, it worked just fine. The driver got there when, when they estimated the driver was going to get there. I could see the car on the app. It suggested, it suggested three levels of tips for the ride. Uh, one, three, and five dollars, I noticed. Again, I tipped in cash. And... What was the one other thing that I wanted to mention about the app? Well, it asked you, of course, to rate the driver and, you know, all those kinds of things. But this is the, the, the biggest thing I think that disturbed me about this ride is that she just 23 minutes. Boom. She I don't she didn't even look at it. Yep. Except the ride. So. There's a lot of drivers out there, I'm sure, who will complain about the current gas prices and that this 55 cent surcharge is too much or, or too little, rather. And, and they're going to go out there and drive 23 minutes to pick up a passenger. And I don't, I don't live out in the middle of nowhere. So this really kind of surprised me. You tell me, if you were outside of your normal zone where you drive, and this person was, would you take a pickup like that, 23 minutes? If you're a platinum level driver, let me know. Um, do you pick up everything, no matter how far away it is, how long it takes you to get there? I'd like to I like to hear that. In my market, I really feel like you got to be a lot more selective in order to make any kind of money doing this. So I'd like to hear from you. So my name is John from Ride Upstate, and I'm glad you're tuning in. If you like this video, give it a like. If you want to see when I release new videos, hit the subscribe button and uh, tap that bell to get notifications. And remember, just because you're in a small market doesn't mean you need to settle for small profits. Bye.